The Emperor's New Clothes Retold by Marcus Sedgwick, illustrated by Allison J. One day, the Emperor got out of bed and slowly scratched his sleepy head. Something's wrong and I know what. My subjects do not care a jot. For who I am and what I do, they show no gratitude, it's true. What I badly need, he said, is something to make my people see that they should be proud of a king like me, that I am worthy of respect, that's surely not much to expect. As if by magic, the very next day, there came a knock on the palace door. Two young weasels stood on the step. We're just what the emperor is looking for. We are tailors. The weasel said, the finest tailors in all the land. We can weave you clothes so grand that all your people will stop and stand and stare and say, why goodness me, there is no emperor quite like he. Just the thing, the emperor said. But that's not all, the tailors cried. There's something more, for we spin spells as we will to make cloth that's invisible to all who dull or foolish be our magic clothes they cannot see just a little more gold will secure such a spell we're sure it will serve you remarkably well the king was delighted splendid splendid start straight away arrange a grand procession day I'll wear the clothes which you have made, and my subjects will cheer as I parade. But can we afford it? The tortoise cried. The doors of the treasury opened wide. Hare agreed and dared to state, We have already spent far too much on trousers and suits and hats and such. Baldadash, the emperor cried. Such a suit will let me see who's wise or foolish be, those unfit for the office they hold. Chamberlain, do as you're told. But the emperor had made an awful mistake. The weasels weren't tailors at all. They were fake. And when Hare left them to start their work, the two young rascals began to smirk. Smiling and joking and giggling and more, they laughed and rolled upon the floor. I never thought we'd fool him so well. Who would have thought they'd believe in a spell? How easily people are taken in, taken in by a tale so thin. But the tale's a good one, woven with care. It's only the cloth that isn't there. And Hare, listening at the door, wondered what all the laughter was for. Many days passed without a sign of any clothes, either shabby or fine, and the poor old emperor began to doubt that he'd ever get his parade shoes out. It's time I saw these wonderful clothes, moaned the emperor, grumpily scratching his nose. But I suppose when I visit, I can't see a thing. Then I'd look like a fool, and I am the king. I don't want to seem like a dunderhead. I'll send my servants to look instead. So he sent Hare and Tortoise down to the room where weasels pretended to work with the loom. A nasty surprise was waiting below and each of them thought, oh no, 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 for they couldn't see anything, anything at all, and neither wanted to look a fool. By now the emperor was eager to know what had become of his fabulous clothes. Tell me, he cried to Tortoise and Hare of the clothes they had not seen, the clothes that weren't there. What are they like? Are they sumptuous and rich? Are they beautifully stitched? Are they special and super and lovely and fine? Are they mine? Hare and Tortoise looked for somewhere to hide. They look wonderful, they lied. The day of the procession at last had come, eagerly awaited by everyone. The weasels fussed and patted and preened. Slyly, they told him. They fit like a dream. And the emperor pretended not to care, that he seemed to be dressed in clothes that weren't there.
The procession set out from the palace gates, and everyone stared and gazed and gawked, too frightened to say what they really thought. But then came a voice, a small frog's cry, who shouted, Look! After wondering why, the emperor was bare! He wasn't impressed that the foolish old lion wasn't properly dressed. After that, the secret was out, and everyone started to point and shout, and laughed and make a hullabaloo, for the trick was exposed, and the emperor too. The end. Thanks for reading with Kayla. Make sure you guys subscribe and like this video for more stories.